Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to solve multiplication and division one-step equations. And a one-step equation is just what it sounds like. We'll need to do one step in order to solve these equations. Now you may be able to solve some or all of these using mental math, but we're going to go through these using a process. Knowing and understanding this process will help solve equations that are more complex and or they won't be able to be solved using mental math. So at the top of the screen is a very important note. We need to isolate the variable, get it by itself, by using the inverse or opposite operation. And always remember balance. So let's see exactly what that means as we go through our four examples and we'll jump right into number one where we have 6x equals 24. So we need to isolate that variable of x. Now whenever we have a number right next to our variable, so the 6 right next to the x, that means to multiply. This problem means 6 times x equals 24. So if we're multiplying by 6, the inverse or opposite operation would be to divide by 6. So let's divide the left side by 6 in order to isolate the x because these 6s are going to cancel out, so to speak. 6 divided by 6 there gives us 1x, which we can just write x there, and we have it isolated. Now remember, we have to keep everything balanced. So whatever we do to one side, we have to do to the other. So if we divided the left by six, we have to divide the right by six. So 24 divided by six equals four. And we have our answer, x equals four. Now we can always double check our answer by plugging it back in to the original equation. So six times four equals 24. That is true, so we have the correct answer. Now on to number two, which looks a little different than number one because we have the 72 on the left and the nine times r on the right, so the variable is on the right. But we use the same exact process, so we need to isolate the r. We're multiplying the r by nine, so the opposite would be dividing by nine. Now those nines cancel out and give us one r, which we can express by just writing the r by itself. So the r is isolated. Whatever we do to one side, we have to do to the other. So 72 divided by nine equals eight. So we're left with r equals eight. And we can plug back in here to see if this is true. So 72 equals nine times eight which is true. You can think of these equations like balancing a scale. Each side has to be exactly equal. So the left, we have 72, and on the right, we have nine times eight, which is also 72. So these two sides are equal. Moving on to number three, we have V divided by three equals five. So let's isolate the V. We are dividing it by three, so the opposite would be to multiply it by three. So let's multiply the left by three and the right by three. So these threes cancel out here and we isolated the V and five times three is 15. So we get to V equals 15 and we can plug back in to make sure. And we are correct because 15 divided by three equals five. And lastly, we have number four, where we have four equals e divided by nine. So we need to isolate the variable of e. We are dividing it by nine, so the opposite would be to multiply that side by nine. And whatever we do to one side, we have to do to the other. So multiply both sides by nine. These nines cancel out, and we are left with the isolated e and nine times four gives us 36. So E equals 36. And we can double check here. So four equals 36 divided by nine. Both sides are equal. So we have the correct answer for the value of our variable E. 
So there you have it. There's how you solve multiplication and division one-step equations. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.